Hey y'all, welcome back. So we're going to do a um, evening vlog. We don't usually vlog in the evenings, but we're doing it today. All right, y'all. So it is 6.36 in the evening and we are just getting to a point where we can vlog today. Not because of anything. Well, I had a couple of point. I had an appointment this morning and then I have been doing other videos all day long. So we're just now at a point where I can do a vlog, which is perfectly fine. Um, I've got a couple things that I have to do, but I bring you guys along. So I'm just changing out my bleach water that I keep in the pantry for wiping down cabinets and stuff. Um, I just want to wiping down counters and cabinets. We just want to make sure we keep this nice and fresh. I just keep this in my uh, pantry closet. We use just regular rags and then we just throw them in the washer when it's time to, to rewash them. My sister went to get me some bleach. Can I have a couple more rags for in here too? All right. So I'm just using cleaning rags and we had some of those rags. Running some hot water. Tiny little bit of bleach. And then I'm just gonna fill it up with water. Thank you. That's done. I'm, it can go. What is? I'm done with that. Yeah. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just um, filling this tub back up. So a couple things that we have to do. Um, I am working on a series. I don't know if you will see those videos before you see this video or not. For building up my three to six months uh, food storage. Um, that was a goal that I had probably before all this stuff started and some kind of way I got off of it, but I'm back on it because I realize now that I don't have in my, you know, home what I need to be able to be sustained for three to six months. So I am changing that and we are the kids. Well, I say the kids and I, I say the kids and I for everything cause they're here with me going through everything, but I'm working on a, um, on a plan and it is a written plan that I have written down again this, this is in some of the other videos that are specific to that and okay done so I've got to make some changes to my pantry because I have some dry goods that I don't want to leave out into my garage because I don't have like metal containers or big thick um containers yet that will uh, facilitate them not getting into by outside critters because I don't I've never had issues praise God but um, I don't want to have issues so I'm gonna leave the dry goods in the house my beans are out there they're all in a Tupperware and that kind of thing I'm still gonna look into getting some uh, more food grade storage buckets but I don't have any right now so with that being said, let me take you over to this um, counter and I'll show you what I have. I do wanna share a haul with you and then the kids and I are gonna get dinner done. So it's not gonna be a long vlog, just kind of what we're doing around the house. Jackson is reading right now because he is in a, um, he is in a virtual book club. He and a couple of the little fellas, uh, we belong to a homeschool group and um, one of the moms put out, hey, does anybody wanna be in a, book club I responded yes but the mom was looking for girls but there was another mom who had responded as well that had boys and so she was like hey why don't you two moms connect perfect fine work perfect so that mom took the lead on starting up the zoom you know we just use her zoom but the boys decided what book they wanted to read last week and how long they would have to read and so Jackson is working on that particular reading for um, their meeting on Saturday. 
So I'm gonna show you what I have as far as dry goods and where we're gonna store that. Okay, so here are our dry goods. We have pasta, we have oats, and we have rice. Now again, just to explain, Alana and I are still keto. So sister and I still eat keto. We always have, and we plan to stay that way, keto, low carb, somewhere in there. Um, however, if things were going to go to a, to a situation where we were unable to get meat or we had restrictions on things we could get, that's what the three to six month, um, supply is for. And also Jackson is vegetarian. So he eats oats and he eats pasta. We do not, but in a pinch, if we had to, we would. So I'm going to clean out a space in my pantry. Um, up here. So in this top section up here where I just have paper goods and dry goods, I'm going to move that out and put that in a different spot. And then I'm going to put those pantry items up there. In the meantime, we're going to start dinner and just do a little bit of things in here to get us squared away. So I'm going to move that stuff and put the dry goods up there. Yeah, I'm going to make broccoli. So what's the color color? Oh, I'm not making broccoli. We got cauliflower. My bad. Okay. No, it's time to write the second. Let me just get this down. Jackson's going to help me. All these things at the top, except that, but that stays. So everything here, babe. Okay, what? Stay. Now, where? No, it's coming down. Now, where do we have empty cabinet space? That's what we got to figure out. That's well, not true. That's do not you true. need to reach it? I do need to reach it. How often do you need to reach it? It depends on how often I'm planning on using it. What are you putting out there? Up here? No, on the empty cabinet space. This stuff. Oh, never mind. I have an idea, but it's well, too hard to reach. All right. Okay, Jack, you stay there. And Mom's going to give you this. It actually You guys, this is where you have to actually say things. This is where you have to say what you want. Ma, I know you're talking to Jackson. What? You doing that? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, put those two on the top of that. No, it's just I've gotten so used to making it. Because it has been decided. Well, you can make me a meal. How can you want to make your own meal? Because that's what it does all the time. Well, you can have, why don't you do a boiling bag of rice and a can of tuna? I just looked at it. And it would be tuna and rice. And, and you can put in a little bit of cream if you want to make it like a tuna rice casserole. Casserole? Wait, do I have something to be up there? Just that one. Or you could make tuna rice and corn. See, tuna. No, down, that. down. Tuna saver. No, over there. Yeah. I you want to use cream corn? Let's do a cream corn. What you do to it? Yeah. Well, you can you can loosen it up with some cream, cream, yeah. or some water, some veggie stock. You got veggie water stock it, not stock it, but stock it. Here, we'll do this and your rice, and we'll make a casserole. I mean, we'll we'll thin it out with some. Can we get a stove wiped off? Still got to figure that out. I don't know. With the stove cleaner or just regular cleaner? With the regular cleaner. Regular cleaner will work. Okay, so we got to figure out freezer bags, snack bags. We use this stuff quite often, so we do want to make sure that we have it in a place where it's convenient. Yeah. Um, hmm. And then our paper products. So let me see, what cabinets do I have free? Here's what we can do already. See, the Lord knows. 
Give me that. What's your name, brother? You're going to move something to work. The, this, I'm going to move that up. Well, that's the idea I had, but I didn't think about moving stuff up. We don't that. use it very often, so it's fine. I'm going to move the waffle maker up because we don't use the waffle maker very often. We use a small one. We don't use the big one. And then I'm going to just put the paper plates there because this is where we keep our spices and stuff, so it'll be perfectly fine. Perfect. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. What, baby? I don't steal. Because you slow on the draw, bro. No, mom, you borrow my faces first, and then. Okay, I borrow what faces? I just same faces as mom. How did I borrow your faces, and I'm older than you? Yeah. Isn't it more like you borrow her faces? That's what I'm saying. Why it always gotta be me borrowing? I'll borrow because you gotta pay stuff back when you start borrowing. <laughs> and I'm not here for it. Don't you guys feel more alive? I didn't ever feel dead. Ma no ma'am. Yeah. I'm not you're not gonna get me to agree to no foolishness. No, well, this is not a foolishness. Oh. I just feel so refreshed. She feels refreshed. I, I have to admit that that was a two hour nap. Yeah. Well, girl, when you take a two hour nap, if you wake up unrefreshed, there's a problem with your napping situation. <laughs> you better wake up refreshed after a two hour nap. Come on, child, please. Come on, do you feel refreshed? Well, I was born. Nice. Oh, I forgot my what's your name. Made nice napkin. Napkin. Forgot my napkin. Yeah, that's the only paper napkin. I was born refreshed. No, I just sit them right here. That's fine there. All right, Jack, where's your, your rice, Bubba? Uh, mine says boil in the bag. What That's what that we mean? get a pot with the water. It has instructions mm -hmm. on it. How you cook that, Mom? <laughs> Green top, microwave directions. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me how you want to do it. Range top or microwave. Pick your choice. Oh, my leg. Oh, my leg. Oh, well, I was thinking about some upgrades for my form. Okay. We still have to find some kind of music, though. Thank goodness we have until next year to have it finished. Okay. Do you have what you need? Because the next tournament. I'm done with the big sister. What you think? Don't look at I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking right now. I'm thinking if we put these dishes up. You are thinking more. Look at that. Can you go in here? Oh, it looks like that. See? Why did I see that? Wipe it off because I think it's got some water in there. So what we are trying to do is to make sure... This is not like our nighttime routine, but we want to make sure that we put away as much things as possible, that we don't have a lot of stuff just kind of hanging out till the next morning if we can do it now. Um, so I've got some cauliflower that we cooked in the Instant Pot. Did y'all feed, ma'am? Yeah, I'm going to feed, ma'am. Because she doesn't have any food. I looked for some pumpkin, but I didn't see any. So I've got some cauliflower in the Instant Pot. We just put it in some water. We seasoned it up very well. And we're, I'm just gonna mash this. And then we're gonna put some vegan butter if we have any. Do we have vegan butter? Incredible. Vegan butter. And we're gonna put some um, nutritional yeast in there. And we're having hot dogs. I don't know who came up with that idea, but we have hot dogs. What is in the fridge? Is there anything else in the fridge? Because I might find some. Drink How much water does it say? Four cups. Okay. That's four cups? No, it's three. We should have put the chicken in there, but Jack won't eat it. Can I have the masher? Oh, that's I know what I could get from Target. Me too, girl. A water bottle. Oh, God. No, a juice bottle. Why? Because I already have a water bottle. That's what I'm saying. So why buy something else that we already have? 
Okay. So I'm going to put some um, vegan butter in here. No, we are not vegans, but um, I had a coupon, I think. Maybe I didn't. It was just probably the cheapest thing. How much cauliflower did you put in here? So I went to the chiropractor today and I got adjusted and she said that I might feel tired. Um, I have had an energy all day, but I do feel very tired right now. So I'm just going to get this finished and then let the kids finish up in the kitchen because they are well able and I am not feeling it. Watch yourself up because I don't want you to bump into that. I agree. Here, you can take that though for mom. That would be so very helpful. And can I have just a tiny bit of, um, a tiny bit of cream or sour cream? It doesn't matter. That's just a quick little mashed potato. All right, that's done, y'all. So we're just waiting on. Mom. Did you feed the doll? Mom. Hmm. Um, All right, y'all. So I needed to buy Jackson some clothes. Jackson, in the last, like, couple of weeks decided he was gonna grow up or something and i'm like hold on bro because my um finances is not set up for kids clothes so um but he had like a probably a growth spurt he's been really been growing he is probably the biggest one of all of them i think as tall as he is now trandon was that tall when he went to um high school for the first time um, we actually, when Trandon was born, thought Trandon was a little person. Uh, when he was first born, the doctor who uh, did his first doctor evalu you know, baby evaluation said, I think he's a little person. And we did not do any genetic testing at that time. It was probably when he was about 13 years old before we did his first bone scans. Because at that appointment, he fell off the growth chart, off the chart. Like, not, you know how you have that little curvy thing? He fell below the curvy thing. And um, so they did bone scans to see if his uh, growth plates had closed. They actually had, had not closed. He didn't actually grow until he was probably about 18 years old. So he was always little. He was still getting offered the kitty menu when he was 16. He didn't like that too much. But anyway, so Jackson chronologically is the tallest of all of my children at the age and sister's pretty tall as well um trandon is tall now their dad is five seven i'm five five and three quarters so they're not going to be overly tall and then my ex-husband's parents are very short and then i come from a family where i do think we had little people uh, my grandmother was four foot eleven and her sisters, all of her brothers and sisters were teeny tiny little people. We had one aunt, she would sit on a chair and her feet wouldn't even touch the ground. And we had another aunt, her name was Aunt Frances. Um, well, when you real country, it's Aunt Frances. That, that was what her name was. And uh, she was a very tiny little lady. Um, just tiny. So, but it was never, you know, they, we never had a name. Even the brothers were small. So we knew, you know, there's not a lot of chance. They're going to be extremely tall. My dad is probably over six feet, maybe just slightly, but my mom was not tall either. So anyway, um, I had to buy him some clothes. I had to get him some clothes. I told him to get his clothes out for church one Sunday, a couple weeks ago. And my child couldn't fit any clothes. I was like, oh, Lord, we got to at least wear these one pair of pants today. 
because he had a brand new pair of um, pants. And I was like, well, we got to wear them today because he couldn't fit anything else. So I stopped. I went to Walmart. Now, in the town where I live, there is nothing but Walmart as far as clothing or Goodwill. And when I shop for them normally, and I shop Goodwill, I don't even shop in the town I live in. I normally shop away because there's that's the only thing there. Well, Goodwill, Walmart, Family Dollar, and Dollar General are the only stores we have that would even potentially have clothes. I didn't want to go in the Goodwill because I knew that I would probably look at something else and want to buy something else. So I was like, no, I'm not going to go on Goodwill. And I'm glad that I actually went into Walmart. And here's why. They had some deals. So I want to show you what I was able to get for him. I took out $100 for Jackson. And it really paid off for me. Um, so I got him this pair of jeans. These are some skinnies. These are Wonder Nations uh, stretch adjustable waist. So if the waist is too big, which I'm praying that this will fit him. Um, but they're the skinny jeans. He likes those typically. He typically likes the skinnier jean. Um, these are a 16 regular. And they are marked. They're marked like $7 and some change. They rang up $3. So I was feeling great. I was like, ooh, praise the Lord. And then another pair of these skinny jeans in a different uh, like stone wash pattern, which he likes the ones that have kind of this on it. Um, they rang up, they rang up regular price, like $7.92 or something like that. Then they had just some regular t-shirts. I got him size 16 t-shirts. Um, now these were on a thing that said $2. Well, some of them said $2. These did not ring up $2, but these are the extra, extra larger. So they might've just stayed the same price for $3.98. But I got him a blue. I got him a red. And I got him a gray. Now, sometimes, uh, we dress down at church. We don't dress up, um, so I just got him a couple of those that he can wear with his jeans. And then I'll just have him put on a nice pair of shoes. Um, sometimes we don't wear, we just wear flip flops and live our best life. But um, I got him another couple pairs of pants. So I got four pairs of pants because they were so cheap. Now these are regular relaxed fit jeans. These were $7.92 as well. So these have the adjustable waist. They're just relaxed fit. But they're also a size 16. And these were less than $8. And then I got him a pair of the black. Because, you know, he can wear those with anything. And I'm going to get him to try these on to make sure that they fit. So when I was looking at jeans, I happened on another rack that had shirts on it. And I was like, okay, let me roll over here to these shirts and figure out what my life is. They were $3 a piece. And these are shirts that are long sleeves. And the reason I like him to have a long sleeve shirt is because sometimes I do, re I require him to look like he going to meet Jesus. I mean, listen, bro, you've been in ball outs and t-shirts all week long. And at least you're going to do your best for the Lord. So, um, I will usually get him some long sleeve shirts from Walmart. I mean, from the Goodwill. But all the ones I got him were like 10s. And he is, that is OVA. So I got this one. This is white with some kind of pattern on it. Can't really tell what it is. I thought they were like little birthday cakes. But I don't think they're birthday cakes. It's some kind of, maybe looks like some kind of Tetris. That's what it reminds me of. But they're long sleeved. And this is what the back looks like. So they're all button ups. And then I got him this color. Real long. He doesn't have to tuck those. He can leave them out. Sometimes he'll wear a t-shirt underneath. Um, this was a cute one. And again, he would just wear these for Sundays because um, they don't dress up for school once school goes back. They just wear whatever, you know, shorts or whatever. And then this was a pretty like blue 
light blue. So I like that one. So I got him four jeans. I didn't see any khaki jeans, so I just left it. Um, or I mean, I didn't see any khaki pants. So I, I'll put that on the list to get four pants, three t-shirts, four shirts, long sleeve. And then I ran on another rack and these shorts were um, $7 and they were lovely. They had these blue ones, these are Wranglers. So Wranglers, all of these have the adjustable waist because he's not really big in the waist. He just seems to be tall. They had these gray ones. So more like your cargo shorts, straight cargo shorts is what they call. Yeah, straight cargo shorts for seven bucks. They had these camos. He does like this pattern. He like he wears this kind of a lot. And then they had a pair of the uh, jean uh, kind. And I saw these before I actually saw the pants, the jeans. And I was like, okay, well, I'll get him four shorts. Because these are dressy enough that if he wears the right top and shoes, um, they'll work out just fine. So they were $7 a piece. So by the time I put together, that was $28 plus another 16 So now we're at, let me calculate it. Plus 16 for the t-shirts. No, I only got three t-shirts. So 28 plus 12, that's 68. No, that's not right. 28 plus 12, 40. Then I got the four shirts, which were three a piece. So that's another 12. Then I got three pants that were $8 each. So that was another 24 plus another three. Twenty, twenty-eight plus twelve plus twelve plus twenty-four plus three seventy-nine. Then I got him, which I don't see him. He probably left him in his room. A pair of sandals, a nice sandal that is um, kind of the thicker leather sandal that he can wear to church. It would be okay for him to wear that. And they were another 10. So, right at 89 $89, $90, and I had $100 for him this week. So, he has four, eight. 12, 15 pieces for $89. So if you're looking just for some, you know, inexpensive pieces, and I'm not saying Walmart is the only place we can shop. Right now, it's the only place around here. And I was just trying to stay local. And um, $89 for 15 pieces. So if I divide that by 15, it averages about to about $5.93 a piece. So not even $6 a piece for everything that I got. So, um, anywho, that worked out so well for us. Plus tax, you know, $89 plus tax. We were right at a hundred and yeah, like I said, I was happy to get those. I was looking, they did have these. I was going to get him a, a pair of khaki shorts, but they only had a 14 and he is, he's too big for a 14. So that's the only reason why I didn't get the khaki colored um, shorts because they only had a 14. That was the largest they had. So anyway, um, those few things for him, I'm feeling good about it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep moving along with life. Morning, y'all. So um, it's the next day. I'm in the kitchen. Got the coffee going. It's early. Um, and my constant companion is in the background. And it's Jack's having an asthma treatment. Um, 
you know, I always have people with good intentions who have great ideas and I really do try to, you know, do the ideas and, you know, surely people could be right. So Jack helped me with the grass the other week, not long ago. And that grass did not help Jack. Um, and we already know anytime he gets involved with grass, and outside things, which is why we pay to have somebody come and do the yard because his, his asthma can't take it. And so we are doing treatments now. Um, but we had an appointment with his doctor. We did a teleappointment. He, he's fine, he didn't have any other symptoms, no nothing, no fever, no nothing, just, just his asthma. And um, it's July. So that's good because every other year before now, he's already had at least two of these episodes go on. And this is the first one that we have had this year. And so they changed his, um, now would be a great time to have chickens. I'm cutting up cantaloupe for him. Now would be a great time. I mean, um, yeah, it, they changed his um, allergy formula and he has not had any issues with his allergies up until right now. And so I should have probably just made him not help me outside. But we're doing what we know to do, what we do all the time. And I actually looked at my Facebook memories and last year, no, not last year, a couple, yeah, last year, last year. So you know how you get those memories a year ago on this day, he was in another flare. So it's, it's, um, it's his, it's how it works for him. It's his cycle. Um, but like I said, this is the first one we've had this year. So we'll take that. That's a win for us because normally at this point, we've already had at least two. And so how his doctors have always dealt with his asthma is if you have more than two flares a year, um, you are considered an asthmatic and he has had two flares a year or more. Um, last year he had way more than two. Um, in December he was real sick. Really, really sick right around Christmas time. But every Christmas for every year of his life he has had asthma flare-ups. So for 11 straight Christmases, his first year of being born we were in the hospital on Christmas Eve. They let us out because he had had another really bad, bad flare. And um, it was just rough. So anyway, I'm getting him some fruit. We're just gonna try to stay, get him to stay quiet, which after he does the albuterol treatment, that is not even possible because he's so like, you know, it just makes your body go crazy. So I'm gonna, finish cutting this up and then um, I've got my coffee going. I'm going to try to do some more prep for my Saturday group. Um, I had a lady message me last night about her and her friend joining. So I've sent out 91 invitations and I have over 50 that have accepted. Um, but I have some of the ones who haven't accepted the invitation have been attending. So I try to keep track. It's kind of um, a challenge to keep track when when people don't accept, which was to say, accept the invitation so I can count. But I'm not counting for, to see who's, how many are coming. Normally after the meetings, I send out a follow-up email and I don't wanna keep emailing people that haven't been coming, who have zero clue what I'm talking about when I send out an email. So that's the reason why I ask people to accept it, not so that I can count the people like David did, that was not, the point it's just I don't want you know how you get randomized emails and you like to send me one more email one more email so I try not to do that to people but anyway um going good so we have our meeting this Saturday we were off for the fourth and um, we're right back at it this week so I do need you I've read all my chapters I'm working on my confessions but I'm gonna go back and reread the chapters because it's Thursday the meeting is on Saturday and I read the chapters last week so I want to make sure that I'm up and fresh on what I have to say so 
anyway, um, I had one of the ladies ask me, she's like, well, do I have to get dressed up and beat my face and put on my earrings and stuff? I said, child, please, people show up in however they want to. As long as I'm feeling good, how I need to feel good, you know, and I always get dressed. I wash my hair, I put on earrings, I put lipstick on, I don't put makeup on. And I'm always making sure that I'm dressed right. If I've just took a shower, so I may as well put on something, you know, usually it's a t-shirt and a pair of leggings or something because I'm sitting down when I do the meetings. But, you know, come however you want to come. That's your business. It doesn't matter to me. If you're comfortable, I have my coffee, my notes, my book, my computer, and we're like off to the races. So it's not any hard, fast rule. You know, this is, this is just... Women getting together, trying to figure out what God called us to do and how he wants us to do it. So that's the whole point of the group. It has nothing to do with what you look like or what you're wearing. I'm not at your house. Everybody's in their own home. So, you know, a little business on the top, a little party on the bottom. Whatever you want to do. Live your best life. Um, it works out great. So let me get this cut up for Jackson. Grab some coffee. Let me live my best coffee life. Amen. Here you go, thinking there's something for you. This is for Jackson. Thanks, Barbara. This is for your brother.
Do you want more? Yeah. Yeah. Gentle. Good girl. Jackson, put the penguin in the igloo bud. Mm -hmm. We are just about out of this cough medicine. my girl. Hello. Is that your Jackson? Jackson, your boy? She might want to eat this morning or something. You know what it was? I had to wash my hands. Hmm? What was nasty? Well, yeah. Oh. No. But these sausages can are ready to go now. Okay. Just put on No, let's get a, um, a plastic thing. No, let's get a plastic thing and chop them. So that they spread out more on the what's your name here. Okay. I mean a plastic thing. Yeah. Get the plastic. Put them there. And take them this. Like this. Just do them here. Are you just not that one? That one. Hang on. Let me make sure. So we'll get everybody the right amount. You want one or two? Is it no commit grain? It's a chopper. Uh, I think we're going to use this to cut away. What is it? It's nice. You know another weird part of my grain? I mean, it was a new hairstyle of braids. I know. And I just washed my hair and I got it wet. Can you believe that? All that hard work. Another part of my dream was I was in something and I was being chased by animals. You know, I think the hairstyle you should have is take one side and straighten it out and then take a braid of the other side and put it over and then put the rest of the back in the button. Yeah. 
understand what you're saying, but mom is not gonna let me wear my hair like that. And to be honest, I wouldn't either. Okay, mom. But well, do you think it would be a good idea for somebody? For somebody, yes, I'm sure. I mean, I'm positive it would be. Will you stir those on uh, peppers, please? It was so crazy. It was the, it was right behind me. It was so scary. And then there was this giant tiger that came at me, almost as big as the elephant. There you go, man. And then there was this gorilla. Oh. Jackson, I'm sure it was a regular orange and black tiger. This tiger. The one all the way down at the end. Be careful. If you want to have your fruit, go ahead and serve it up. We can finish up if there's any more dishes that can go. Now would be a good time to let them just be done with. Anyways, that part ended real quick. Thank goodness. And then the third part of my weird dream got scary. Me and Jada, well, Jada and I, had something that was forbidden. And we weren't well, supposed why didn't to have it. Well, because it was still good. What was it? I don't remember what it was. I don't exactly remember what it was. But I know it was still good. People just didn't see it that way. And so somebody was trying to take it away from us. Why did it need to be taken away? Because it was forbidden. Or I don't know, like it was like some evilness. Mm. So then why are we too close to it? What's the be with Jackson? At home. Gotcha. It was not evil. They just thought it was. Probably. Can you blame them? Yes. I mean, if you would say it like you, and it sounds evil. Anyways, these people were trying to act. Look. They were trying to act all cool and smooth. Like they were trying to be like, hmm, I'm not looking at anything. Ooh, I gotcha. I know. That was one lady. She would not go away. She was an old lady. Did you tell her to go away? Uh, no. Well, then, no we way. were trying to get away from her. Your sister. And then there was this boy. Red's not what can be red. He's not what We didn't get the dishes out, so we can't put them in. Okay. Yeah. Ain't that how it works? Then why are you listening to the weird mother? Oh. Apparently, oh, though, sorry. I think the boy wanted to help us. He was trying to help me. It was Jay and I, and we were hiding. So he was trying to help us. So that was it. And then there was one girl. She was the one who ended it, right? Mr. Amos was trying to help me. Really? And so she then, this after this one girl saw us, she was trying to chase us. And then she was chasing all of us, and we had to go duck and duck and duck. It was almost like we were in Costco, you know? Those giant shelves. In Costco? We were not in Costco, but you know what I'm saying, the giant shelves. I didn't get your ex in. Yeah. Dang. Sorry, the 
fucks up on. But if you would see the problem is you out of your lane, boo. Your I mean, lane is getting them dishes out that dishwasher. This is my lane right here. Yeah, you good lane. I got that. I got that. I got that. It's my lane. Your lane is dishes. But my dishes can't get put up with the griddle there. They can be out of that dishwasher. No, there's not enough mat to put the dishes if on. If you take that, oh, there's some empty mat right now. We don't always have an excuse, Father, in the name. Hey, lucky thing for you, Art, is one of those heavy plates. I'm going to get a good yesterday plate. Good job. Anyway, then the girl was chasing you. And then, again, that scenario where you run as fast as you are hoping to, mm. she caught me. But then I woke up. Okay. Mr. Amos was trying to help me. Mm -hmm. Alana, put some butter on this. Butter on that? That griddle. Somebody sprayed it and the spray is going to run. No, but people need to stay in their lane. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Oh, here, I just name. In the, oh, you that one. I just put one in the sink. Isn't that a German name? What? Stay in your lane. Yes. Mm hmm. I think I'm going to check one. Hey guys, so um, a package came for me and I'm really excited. It's, um, this is my Claire's package right here. Um, so before I open everything up, I just wanna say that I love Claire's. It's my favorite, probably, it probably is my favorite store in the whole entire world except for maybe some bookstores. Um, I've been going there for maybe two and a half years, I think. Um, one of my mom's friends introduced me to it and it has literally, literally been the best place ever. And I wish I had discovered it earlier. But um, I have been going there for a while now and last Christmas I got, no, it wasn't, well, last Christmas, I did get a couple Claire's gift cards. And for my birthday, which is about a month after Christmas, um, I got some more Claire's gift cards. And I was planning to go to the mall, but um, COVID happened and we couldn't exactly, you know, go anywhere. And it's now June. And since we don't want to go outside the house, Mom found a website for Claire's and you can go online and they have everything in their store. They even have it like categorized. Love stuff. Let's do that like that. That way you know what you're looking for. Or if you don't know what you're looking for, at least you know where to look for it. If that makes sense. It makes sense when I say it. So anyways, um, we went online to Claire's.com and I, I just shopped and I was on Claire's for about three hours. Trust me, it was fun. I did not get through everything yet. There was still a lot of, um, still a lot of pages that I hadn't actually scrolled through to see what else they had. But I got some things and I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. So the first thing is these gloves. I love gloves. Now I have a pair of black gloves, but I don't exactly know where they went. So we're still looking for them. But right now these are, they told me these were the oil silk, oil slick, something oil related. And they're kind of like a rainbow on black. This can literally go with everything mom said. So I'm glad I got those. I have here, um, this is a hair, hair comb, if you can see that. Um, I've been trying to find new things for my hair, and I'm gonna wear this whenever my hair is 
straightened. Right now it's in its little poof ball. I'm gonna wear this brown hair straightened so probably about September-ish. I'm just trying to find new things for my hair. Um, here next, this is one of my favorites actually. This is a rose gold bracelet. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, it looked really pretty and it's so shiny. I love shiny things. I'm hoping it'll fit on. Oh yeah. See right here. You can clasp it. Um, but I think that's really pretty. I've been trying to get more into jewelry. See, I'm kind of that weird person with jewelry. I like jewelry, but I don't exactly like to wear it. And I know it's weird, but um, I will. At least on Sundays and events, I will wear jewelry. Um, here we have some new earrings. These are the teardrop earrings. I've been trying to find some silver things. Silver is one of my favorites, like mom. And something plain, something normal I can wear with like probably almost anything. Uh, oh, look at this. So this is a little bracelet. I got it for one of my little friends at church. She just had, um, she just turned five like um a couple days ago so um i wanted to give that to her here one of my favorite things <laughs> scrunchies i love scrunchies i'm currently now wearing a scrunchie you just can't see it because all my hair is hiding it uh i got these little mini scrunchies these are not for me these are for um some other people but um, I love those colors. I like solid colors. I do like solid colors. Because a solid color can, you know, go on a lot of things and just the rainbow ones. But I do like the little ones. Here is another one. This is the metallic silver, I think. Y yeah. No, holographic. No, metallic. Mom liked metallic better. So that's metallic silver. Um... Here is the white one. Oh, they feel so nice. I just love how it stretches like that. I love scrunchies. And then these are my two favorite ones because it took me forever to decide which one I actually liked. Wanted to get. There was another one, but I didn't get it. This is the pink one. This is a pink scrunchie. My favorite color is pink. And I really like that one. And then, then this one is a pink tie-dye. You see that? It's like a tie-dye shirt on a scrunchie. I really like this one. I'll definitely be wearing these ones a lot. Um, here is a headband. I think it's a headband. Yeah, here, let me pull it out. It's a headband. This tells you different ways you can wear it with a bun with your hair out, around your neck, around a bag or something. I really wanted to get more um, headband things that I can wear. I didn't know I got this. Oh. Hmm. Excited for that. Ooh, here's another headband. I really wanted to get this one. This is the iridescent gem headband. If you can see all those pretty colors, the way it just glitters like that. I love that. I really do. I love headbands. You can wear a headband on everything. This is the Claire's Diary. It even comes with a little pen. And there were a lot of these, but I thought the butterfly one would work best with me. Plus, I like butterflies. And I just love the way it looks. Don't you guys like it? I love it. Um, here is another headband. Hmm. Okay. This is a white headband. Ooh, I'm really glad I got this one. This is another headband. This is the flower crown. This is one of my favorites. I've actually been wanting these ever since I first discovered them. <laughs> and this is the pink blush. 
I really like, you know, you know how much I love pink. And if you see that, it's so cute. I can't wait to wear this with something. I don't know what, but it's going to be great. Whatever it is. And the last but not least, surprise, it actually fit in this bag. I'm going to try to take it out. I have been wanting it. It is so cute and so tiny. Little tiny thing. This is a black leather mini book bag. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so nice. I love it. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> it even comes with a chain, a longer chain, so you can just, you know, one of those like side bags. And isn't that cute? It's black and it's gold. It's a little gold diamond in the pocket. And the little handle. It's so cute. I mean, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. I didn't know they carried bags that small. But um, that is everything I got from Claire's. Um, Claire's one of my favorite stores. And I uh, love going in there and getting things for myself. But I also like getting things for other people. It's also a thing with me if I go into a store I cannot leave without buying somebody something. So the last time I had money, I bought a little girl a dress and some shoes. Um, I bought Jackson a soda last time. And now I bought my little friend a little birthday gift. It's um, just a thing I love doing. I love giving, even more than receiving. And, um, and even if I don't have enough, mom's always there behind my back supporting me all the way and she will lend me the money if I need it which is why I'm excited for Christmas we're not gonna talk about Christmas quite yet so anyways I hope you guys like seeing what I got from Claire's when I get more money I will definitely going back to get the other things that I could not get um because there were a lot of great things in there so um thank you guys for looking through my Claire's things and we'll see you guys later. It will be the same on both hands. So thumbs, finger number one. Index fingers, finger number two. Middle fingers, finger number three. Ring fingers, finger number four. four. And pinkies, finger number five. Knowing that the finger numbers are the same on both the left and the right hand, gives us only five things to memorize instead of ten. So again, Thumbs, finger number one. Index fingers, finger number two. Middle fingers, finger number three. Ring fingers, finger number four. And pinkies, finger number five. Position. First, place your right hand on the white piano keys. Give each finger its own separate key next to the other. Second, make sure your fingers are curved and relaxed. You don't want them to be completely straight, but you also don't want them to look like a claw. Try to find a nice middle ground. Third, imagine a small ball is underneath the palm of your hand. If there was indeed a small ball underneath the palm of your hand, your hand would naturally form over the shape of that ball. Fourth, you want your wrist to stay loose and somewhat parallel to the ground. A bad habit you want to be careful not to form is allowing your wrist to rest on the keyboard or piano whenever you're not playing. To recap, keep your fingers flexible. Imagine there's a ball underneath the palm of your hand. Make sure your wrist is loose and parallel to the ground. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to find middle C on the piano, alternating all the way up the piano. Three, two, three, two. Let's take a moment now to get familiar with those next group of three rock keys. When you get to about the middle of the I want you to switch to your right hand and same thing, use fingers two and three to play the group of two black keys. Then fingers two, three, and four on the group of three. Fingers two and three on the next group of two. Fingers two, three, and four on the next group of three. And last, fingers two and three on the group of two black keys. Now that we've familiarized ourselves with the different groupings of black keys, that is a C note. This actually applies to any other group of two black keys.
Alrighty, you guys, so it's been a couple hours since we chatted with you all, and um, I am back. I had a late um, consultation at the chiropractor, so I've been to the chiropractor three days in a row. The first day, I went in for my x-rays and just to give the doctor all my medical history. The second day, um, I did the actual adjustment, and then um, today was you go after the office is closed and you sit down and you really talk about, um, look at your x-rays and how things look and kind of like your care plan. And here is, um, so all the x-rays, you know, she so shows you before the adjustment x-rays, after the adjustment x-rays, um, re really my lower lumbar where my, uh, hips and stuff are where I've been having quite a lot of hip pain in addition to the sciatic nerve pain. Um, my spine is really not right. A lot of that is um, uh, due to the fact that I had Shamika so young. And of course, when that pelvic, you know, separates, I was so very young and I have had in the past a lot of lower back pain. I don't have that now. Um, but we knew it was because her head was so big and I was so young. So, um, we knew that was a problem, but I did not realize that my spine was that far, um, off. I mean, I could tell something was wrong, but when you see it on x-rays, it's just, it tells you something. So we started off with a particular care plan and I just happened to make a comment or mention about my son who is ADM or active duty military. And she's like, oh, really? I was like, yes. And um, so she says, well, since you're a military family, that's gonna change things for you. We're gonna take 50% off of this estimate. So it really makes it doable for me to be able to see her um, on the care plan she wants to see me for. So I'm gonna budget in, I'm going to work into my budget to see the chiropractor. So how I'm gonna do that, I was gonna make a separate video, but we're just throwing in here for chit chat. Um, I'm gonna budget that in based on that money that I spend for Taekwondo. As kids deposits come in, I'm just gonna pull a little bit out every month because I'm gonna go on a payment plan just to pay it like that. And um, it's gonna all work out just fine. So I've got a couple, and the reason I'm going on a payment plan is because I don't, I don't have the money to be able to pay all up front like that. If I had my um, benefits card reloaded, I could pay it with that, but it reloads in September. So I'll have some in September um, to be able to uh, scan that, like, you know, to pay like a bigger chunk at one time. So it'll be perfectly fine. I'll just budget it in, figure out. Um, some things, uh, you know, I'm always going to try to find some coupon deals if I have to take the money from this place for that place or whatever I have to do. So it's going to be no problem. Um, we, we're going to live our best life, but I have to get the work done. And I think the thing for me, I'm getting my computer turned on because I have actually not been on the computer much today. The thing for me that is most beneficial is now it's time for me to start taking care of my health. You know, I would always say to myself, and I think a lot of single moms say this, when my kids grow up, I'm going to make time for me. Very true. Because when they get out, when all of them get out, and I might even put the dog out. So I still got about eight, nine more years, maybe 10 at the most. But when they all get out, I'm going to get my groove back, Stella. But um, I mean, I am going to do things that I want to do. I want to travel some. I want to... um be able to see my friends. I want to just, I want to do things I want to do that doesn't include taking somebody here or picking somebody up from there and go in this place and that place just because I'm the mom. But in the meantime, I still have to take care of my body. I still have to take care of, because if I don't, when they do move out, it won't be no me to take care of. So I've got to do that. And that's just, it's just, it just has to be a priority for me. And I'm okay with that. I mean, some people may not be okay with that, but I'm okay with that. I have to be, I have to make myself be okay with it. Is it an extra expense that I didn't plan on? Sure it is. 
But does that mean it's not doable? No, it doesn't. It just means we have to be a little bit more strategic in our um, ways that we do side hustles. I may just really have to get my eBay going. Um, you guys watching videos, thumbing them up and subscribing and sharing really help our channel get into those recommended views and feeds. And the more people we get to view the videos, the better. Um, for our channel, I even thought about momentarily stopping my sinking funds and using YouTube money to go for some of that. But, you know, again, I think I can recoup back my money that I pay up front for Taekwondo, which is way more than what I'll need for the monthly um, fee. Um, I think it's I think it will be. Better. So anyway, I'm going to go for it and just live my best life. So a couple things, I know I have a little bit where you all see me um, in Big Lots. Now, Big Lots has got a pretty good night, a pretty nice game going on. I was like, okay, Big Lots, I see you. Um, I'm going to actually be looking in Big Lots to see if there are some pieces that I can pull into my home. I'm going to do a couple projects. I'm going to do some stuff where my uh, coffee cabinet is. I've just got to get on it with this leg. I just really haven't been able to do much. And um, I didn't want to push myself. So now that I pretty much have some resolve to that, um, it's going to work out perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys. Okay, a couple things came in. So I did want to share that. I have the kids curriculum. They did come in. So Alana's just got here today. I need to make sure though that is let me check my okay see I don't have an invoice in there I want to check to make sure it's the right curriculum I know what I ordered but I want to make sure 11th grade so Alana's 11th grade complete set is in now this is different than what we normally would have because normally I had to do the CDs but this time I just have uh, because this is an updated version or one of the newer versions which we were fortunate enough to get. Sometimes I have to get like 2010, 2011 version and they would be CDs. We were fortunate enough this time to be able to get the newest version and they used the uh, flash drives. So the flash drives work now. So all the curriculum is loaded here. I just stick it in on the USB and I'm living my best life. So that's 11th grade for Alana. That's five subjects, um, math, science, social studies, Bible and math, science, social studies, language arts, and Bible. And then for Jackson, seventh grade. So I have two. I've got 11th grade and seventh grade. I'm going to load these on to their computers when we start next school year. So I am done with this. Praise the Lord and everybody who um, participated in that, blessed us, felt led of the Lord. We, we truly appreciate it couple um, keto finds from Big Lots. I found these um, Atkins bars. These are chocolate coconut bars, kind of like Almond Joys. They're two net grams of carbs. So I did pick that up um, just to have a little sweet treat in the house already made. They were $6. They might be a little cheaper at Walmart. I don't remember. Might be, right? It might be close. But I was close to... Um, Big lots today. I also picked up this moon cheese um, Parmesan toppers. They were $1.50. That's in the Parmesan and this is in Italian herb. They were $1.50. Then I picked up um, this moon cheese, which is Gouda. That was $3 though for that name brand. And then this one I saw somebody had, it was a pepper jack. And so I picked up this one. This is zero carbs, zero fiber, zero sugars, five grams of protein for six to seven pieces um, is a serving. And then also I picked up um, two things of the pink Himalayan. I got some that's already ground and then the rocks. Um, that way, I because I, I have a grinder and I have just a regular shaker. So those were a couple of finds that I picked up at Big Lots when I was just, I was waiting for my friend. She went with me to the appointment. And so that was helpful because my sister was working. 
and she was not able to go with me. So I did take care of that. Um, Y'all worked out. So that's pretty much all. I'm not going to, well, I'm going to end the vlog here because it's after eight o'clock at night. Um, I didn't even leave the office till after seven from going over my x-ray. There were two of us in there, two patients. So one went and then I waited and then I went last. So it all worked out. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to call the office to make my down payment and then get myself set up on my schedule so I'll know when I'm supposed to go for my treatments. So um, it'll all work out perfectly fine. Other than that, uh, the kids and I are just working around doing stuff. We've got some laundry to fold. Jackson's got the dog walked. Kids need to grab a shower. Um, I've got some coupons that I need to go through because I am going to be trying to kind of shave that grocery budget just a hair to make sure that I'm able to um, fit everything in that I need to fit in, specifically because I'm not working. So this is not my working months. But again, watching the videos, sharing the videos, um, thumbing up, thumbs down if you don't like the videos. It all helps to grow our channel. It helps to give us some revenue. And so if I need to pull a few dollars from that YouTube to get my health in order, then I will do that. I ended up needing a few more visits than I thought, but you know, hey, we're going to live our best life. But with a discount for my son, it, 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 makes it doable so i'm thankful for that um with him and that that was helpful so anywho there it is thank you guys so much for stopping by um i have been working on my three to six month um storage plan for uh stocking up my pantry it's going very well i'm just kind of moving right along doing a little here doing a little there and so all is very well for the kids and I to be moving along. So there it is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.